Oops. All right. Where did this compost come from, Shay? You know, if, if you ever go in the forest and you look and you see trees, always they're green. It looks like they've maybe been fertilized, but they've never been fertilized. There's a nutrient cycling that goes on. The nutrients are taken up from the soil, into the plant, into the tree, and into the leaves. And then the leaves drop, and then they fall down to the ground, and they recycle nutrients year after year after year. That's why, as opposed to your home garden, you probably have to fertilize it. But in the forest, you really don't have to fertilize it because you have a whole system of nutrient cycling. And um, it creates, a, basically, almost all forests have a floor that looks kind of like this. Crumbly, a lot of organisms in it, absorbs water, holds water, holds nutrients. It's very important. And this is the whole concept of nutrient cycling in any type of, uh, especially sustainable organic systems or sustainable agricultural systems. Uh, one of the things uh, in organic agriculture, sustainable agriculture, is that, you know, usually we talk about composting. In the city, we talk about composting as sometimes more of a uh, waste recycling or using waste um, that are not really used or we don't want to go to the landfill. But in the um, life of organic agriculture, sustainable agriculture, compost is used more from a, a soil health standpoint to, to really heal soils and add nutrients to soils, which is very important for um, optimum plant growth and optimum you know, human nutrition. So that's why the composting aspect is very important. And it's more for from a, a, a soil health standpoint than from probably a, a recycling of um, waste within the cities. But in the cities, I mean, you can recycle waste to make this. I mean, that's the key thing about it, recycling waste to get to this. And then when you get to this point, then you can add this to the soil. This is added to the soil for all type of benefits, uh, nutrient density, biological activity in the soil, aeration, microbial action. I mean, it helps with the physics of the soil, the soil structure, the biology of the soil, the physics of the soil. All these things are important, and they're helped by adding compost. And uh, how expensive was the compost to purchase this compost around uh, here? Well, when you purchase this, it's very expensive. I mean, sometimes $13, $14, 15 $16 or more for a cubic yard. Wow. But um, the leaves are taken to a place, they're ground up, compost it for a period of time and then this is what you get in the end but you could do this whole process in your backyard